channel and welcome to another day in the booth. Now, I said on yesterday's video we've got something strange to paint today and we have. I'll give you a little pan round. So this is what we are painting today. We've got a load of barrels to do. So two different size barrels. These are going direct gloss white and we've got some grills to do. Now these are going in a silver, both sides, and then you'll clear coat these grills. These are the grills you get on the front of tractors. So that's the bonnet grill. Then you get the side grills that go on the actual side of the tractor bonnet. So that's what's on the cards today. So I'll take you through a process. I've got the silver mixed up already. That's good to go. We're going to use the GTI Pro for all the applications on this. I'll be changing the cap over. Silver base coat, I'm going to use the TE 10 cap. Then we'll switch it over to the T1 10 cap for dropping the direct gloss down. These are going white. And then I'll clean up, switch out again with the gun and we'll drop some clear coat on the grills because they're going to be clear. So this is the sort of process we're doing. So this is my paint run today and then I've got some prep to do and bits to do out there but this is the only room that's happening today is this so enjoy the video I'll stick you on the cap cam and we'll get these painted up see you in a bit I'm just going to go over with these and stack on these off just get any dust off <laughs> Nice coat all over. guys join me in the studio tomorrow we have got a airbrush video coming up this is dreadverse b so this one's going to be a funny one this was sent out from a subscriber so it's going to be well worth a watch and then friday we are back in the booth i'm doing a spray gun review on a clear coat demo for you on the ani f160 it's a new gun i've picked up so i'm going to do a clear coat review for you guys on friday And don't forget, if you are new to the channel and just come across, click that subscribe, press that notification if you are liking the content, guys. Drop your comments, I'll get back to you straight away. And we'll carry on with the spray video.
nice and simple you see me on these go around the edge and then just work down the front flip around the other side and do the same again get a nice even coat so I gave one coat and then just sort of pulled back and gave it a little drop coat mainly on the faces of these just so you don't get any striping because it really stands out on a grill on the front of the bonnet when the light hits it you'll see striping in it if you don't get the coverage right but that's gone down really nice so they're all coloured up they're good for a drop of clear coat I'm going to get this gun cleaned out, get the silver out, and then I'll mix some direct gloss up and we'll attack the drums. So I'll see you in the next step. Right, we're moving on to the barrels. Got the paint mixed up, GTI Pro, and I've got the T110 cap on for this. So I'm going to treat this like clear coat, sort of a wet coat straight off, and then a second wet coat to finish. got a reaction on that i went in wet like i was saying do it like clear coat and it reacted up so on the next ones i went in a little bit lighter so it's a lot less solvent build up and gave it like a grip coat didn't go in too heavy because that one reacted yeah. nice reaction. 
Gonna go a little bit lighter now on the first two. Well that was an absolute nightmare guys doing them. It really was groveling around on the floor on your knees, spraying the underneath of these, an absolute nightmare. I can see why I got chose to do the job. We had one that reacted straight away. Now I cleaned these down in solvent panel white. And we had a reaction on this one. It just pickled up straight away. So we've got that one that's got a reaction on it. And then I started to go lighter. After I got the reaction on that one, I did a light coat, like a grip coat. I thought I'll go in light, just in case there's anything that might react. Going in too heavy with the solvents, probably why it reacted. So I went light on these ones and started working back going lighter. Same with this one. I did a light coat on this one and that reacted here as well. And that's with a light coat. But all the others have come out really nice and glossy. So I use the Deville Bish GTI Pro and I use the T110 cap for this. Two and a half turns out on the fluid, first coat and second coat, and just sort of worked around the tin. So start at a seam and work your way, way back round to the seam. Drop coat, sort of a tack coat, and then a full wet coat. And as you can see, that's glossed up really nice, flowing out. The actual mix of the direct gloss was from Cars, and it was quite thick. And the first coat that I put on, I didn't put, I put like 5% thinners in, but it was really thick. So I dropped 30% thinners in the next one, really thinned it up, and just went in with a thinner mix on the next coat. But it seemed to work. Like the gap is just coming out a little, and I said, there's nothing I could do. I mean, I panel wipe these down, get them a good clean down in panel wipe on the floor on a piece of cardboard. And now I was drying them so I was going along. So they had a good clean. But these aren't metal barrels. You don't know what's on them, guys. So that one that had the little reaction in and the little reaction in this one, it's not a problem because there is more of these to do. There's the big oil drums to do as well. So we'll bake these, we can just flat them ones off that have got like the little reaction and then the next painter when he comes in because he's doing a run of these probably tomorrow he can then bring them two in and just re-gloss them up so not an issue so the next stage is to clear coat these and these have stayed clean so we can clear coat on them and we'll be good to go. And then I've got to prep some of these up. I've got to DA some of these back. So, hey no. So I'll see you in a bit for the clear coat. Oh, we're 
moving on to the clear coat stage on these grills. Nice good wet coat on these and that will do this to finish it off. silver base coat and then clear coat to finish on them and then we did the tins the direct gloss on the tins just a couple of reactions on two of them but there's more tins to do so get these baked flat off them two bits that are bad scuff them back and they can just have a recoat of gloss job done so i hope you enjoyed the video hope you join me in the next one which will be back in the studio tomorrow and I've got something funny coming up tomorrow so join me tomorrow in the studio so thanks for watching don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification drop us a thumbs up guys if you're liking the content big shout out to all the new subscribers and the regulars that are coming over thank you so much for all the comments guys much appreciated and I'll see you in the studio tomorrow cheers Oh,